Okay, so what uh, we were doing, we are uh, looking at the chapter three. Modeling the time domain. Okay, so here, uh, do you know how to solve this one? Say converting a transfer function with polynomial in numerator. In this case, you how to transfer this one, this uh, this transfer function into the state space representation. For doing so, you have to move on like this. See here, uh, this is uh, your uh, uh, transfer function. Now you will break it into two blocks. In the one block, you will uh, keep uh, one over s, s to the power three plus nine s square plus 26 s plus 24. And in the another block, you'll keep s square plus seven s plus two. Okay, so two block. And in this two block, See here, that is input. RS is the input and CS is output. In between, uh, you, you bring another variable, which is X1. Okay, why you bring this one? Uh, to make this more easier, you have to bring this one. Okay. Now, uh, now you have to work one by one. First of all, work for this one. And second, work for this one. So for this one, uh, what do you have to write? X1 by RS is equal to this. Okay, X1 by RS is equal to this. And for this, uh, you have to look at the previous one. This figure, so look at this figure, 24 by S to the power three plus nine, same, same. Now for this, C is by R S equal to this. So from here you can you bring out this equation. Now for this equation, if you take the inverse Laplace transform, you can write like this. After that, take the variable, take the variable, and differentiate it. Then you will get the answer. Okay, same thing would happen here. Uh, let me write for you. Let's say, uh, yeah, so okay, I'm going to worry. X1 by R, X1, X1 by R is equal to 1 over 3 plus. 9 s square uh, uh, plus 26 s plus 24. Okay. Now here, if you do the cross multiplication, then you will get this. Uh, just multiply, multiply it as uh, you plus nine s square plus 26 s plus 24 okay. x1 is equal to r now not take the uh, what you'll do, you'll uh, take the uh, inverse Laplace transform of this. Then what would happen? S cube, that means x1 triple dot plus 9x1 double dot plus 26 x1 single dot 
plus 24 it's one so is equal to r after taking the uh, in, uh, inverse Laplace transform okay now what you will do uh, now you can take the variable internal variable uh, let's say um, x2 just a minute what they have taken okay okay now do one thing now what you'll do uh, let um, uh, x1 is equal to x1 okay x2 equal to x1 dot x3 equal to x1 double dot now if you differentiate it then you will get x1 differentiate is equal to x1 dot is equal to x2 x2 if you differentiate it x2 dot that means x1 double dot which is equal to x3 and x3 dot which is equal to x1 triple dot which is equal to if you have the x1 triple dot uh, r minus 9 c x1 double dot x1 double dot means x1 x3 9 x3 9 x3 minus 26 x1 dot x1 dot means x2 minus 26 x2 x2 26 x2 minus 24 x1 minus 24 x1 okay so that is your equation so from this uh, from this you can uh, write uh, stress space x1 dot uh, x2 dot x3 dot is equal to one is equal to first of all see here x1 x2 x3 it uh, x1 term 0 x2 1 x3 0 and for this one, 0, 0, 1. And here, minus 24, minus 24, minus 26, minus 9. You can write like this x1, x2, x3, uh, and for the r, for the r, c, all these are zero, zero. 0, 1, this R. Let 
Let me check. Yes. See. So that is your first part. This will come for the first part. That is the way which I have been shown to you. Okay, you have to follow this way. Yeah. You have to follow this way. Okay, now for the second part, if you remember the second part, this is the second part. For this one, uh, CS, CS by X1 is equal to this. See, CS by uh, X1. See, CS by X1. So what would be the X1? Like this. Take this variable. Now put here, then you will get the equation. Similarly, you can solve this one. Do you know how to solve this? Let me help to you. Okay. So see here. Qs plus one. Uh, so here, first of all, you have to do this two part in one part, uh, one over this is square plus seven s plus nine. In the second part. Plus one. See, this is RS. This is X1S. This is CS. Okay. Now, what you have to do? X1 or X, whatever it is. Okay. So, first of all, Say x s by r s x is by r s is equal to one over x square plus seven s plus nine. Okay. Now, if you do the cross multiplication, then you will get uh, s square plus seven s plus seven s plus nine into x s equal to r s. And if you take the inverse lap uh, in uh, inverse Laplace transform ILT, if you take the ILT, then what do you get? X double dot plus seven x single dot plus 9x is equal to r. Now you have to take the variable. Okay. 
Hmm. Now do one thing. Now from here, uh, say x uh, is equal to say if I take this one x one, you see that that is x one. Say x is equal to x one. And x double dot is equal to x2, x double dot is equal to x3. Okay. Uh, in this case, not three only only two because see we do not need three now if you take the differentiation x one dot means uh If you take the differentiation, then what would happen? A variable okay. Say X is equal to X one. X1 is equal to X1, X2 is equal to X1 dot. Now take the differentiation, X1 dot means X1 dot which is equal to X2 and x2 dot means uh, x1 double dot which is equal to uh, minus 7 see x1 dot means x1 uh, x1 dot means x2 minus 7x2 minus 7x2 minus 9 x1 plus r. Now from this one, from this one, we can write what? Uh, we can write x1, uh, x2, for the first term, only x2 is there. So 0, 1, for the second term, uh, minus 9 and minus 7, minus 9, minus 7, and instead of this, you can write x1, x2, plus for the r, first one, first term, there is no r, so it is 0, second term, there is only 1 r, so it is 1, and you can write that t. So that is your uh, first part. For the second part, that means this one. Uh, for this one, say CS by X1S is, is equal to 2S plus 1. 2S plus 1. Or you can write what? 
you can write cs is equal to uh, 2s uh, 2s plus 1 into x1 yes take the inverse laplace transform uh, taking the inverse laplace transform you would get what um, you would get uh, 2 uh, 2x1 dot plus x1 is equal to ct. Okay. C actually C. C or Y, whatever, they took this as Y. You can write C, no problem. So what would be this? See, let's say we are taking this like this. X1 is equal to X1. X2 is equal to X1 dot. Now take the, uh, if you take the differentiation, then what you will get? Uh, x1 dot x1 dot is equal to x2 and x2 dot is equal to x1 oh in in this case you do not need to take the both oh, sorry you do not need this only one is enough Keep in mind that if you have the one differentiation, then, then you take one. Okay. Now x1 dot is equal to two and x1 is equal to x1. So what would be your y or c, whatever it is, output? First one. Uh, c x1 dot right x1 dot uh, x1 dot is equal to not x2 here uh, just let me calculate it again uh, if you take the x1 dot it would be x1 x1 equal to uh, say x1 x1 dot means uh, x1 dot means what x1 dot uh, in this case x1 and x1 is equal to x1 one variable x1 is equal to x1 and if you differentiate it then it would become x1 dot and x1 dot is equal to ct minus something okay one two actually you write like this so ultimately you can write a y is equal to one two and x one x two okay like this Okay, that is the way to uh, so now converting from a state space to a transfer function. Okay, state space to transfer function.
here see uh, let's say uh, this is your state equation and this is your output equation now take the laplace transform of, uh, uh, assuming zero initial con uh, condition take the laplace transform of it and solving the excess using this equation s i identity matrix minus a into excess is equal to b u s or excess is equal to what s i minus a inverse b u s where i is the identity matrix and substituting the equation 3.71 into equation 3.6 and b this one if you put this value of excess into this one then you get this equation okay So ultimately, T is equal to Y S by S is equal to C A C S S I minus A whole inverse B plus D. Okay. So that is the equation. That's the function equation. C S I minus A inverse into B plus D. Okay. Now take a look at the state space representation to the transfer function. Uh, given the system defined in equation 3.74, find the transfer function. Ts is equal to Ys by Us, where Us is the input and Ys is the output. So given the system, this is the system, this is your system. So from this one, you have to find out the transfer function. So first term, the solution results around finding the term S i minus A inverse. Here A is this one. This is A, this is B, this is C. So S i minus A. So, so write the S i identity matrix. So it would be this one. A is this one. Okay. So, yes, simple one. So, you got this one. Now, take the inverse. So, to take the inverse, formula is uh, adjacent matrix SI minus A divided by determinant of this one. Now, how to find the adjacent and how to find the determinant? Do you remember adjacent? That is the way to find the determinant matrix. Okay. Determinant of A. Okay, these, these are the formula. Determinant and ad, adjoint matrix and adjoint matrix. See how to find out the adjoint matrix. Say for this one. For this one, uh, about this column, four, five, eight, seven. For this one, this column, minus one, five, six, seven. Like this way. Adjoint matrix you can find out. And for the determinant, formula is like this. Say for the determinant of uh, first one, uh, third column, say if you consider this third column. So two, first of all, two, so minus mm -hmm. five, six, eight, five. And minus seven for the minus seven, minus seven, then one, three, eight, five, one, three, eight, five, plus four, one, three, minus five, six, like this, adjoint matrix. So uh, like this, you will find the determinant. Now look at here. So for the adjoint, they, they find the adjoint like this way. Uh, if you consider this one, this one, then S into S plus three minus 
true. Okay, so that means s square plus 3s plus 2. If you consider the first one. And for the second, uh, for the second row, uh, it would be minus two, like this, like this adjoint uh, matrix. So for finding the adjoint matrix, uh, you have to see first adjoint, right? But first of all, adjoint for the adjoint. Look at here, what they did. Transpose of that. Use that formula. So, following that example, they have uh, got this one. And for the determinant, they have got this one. So, finally, you can write the substituting this value into equation 3.73. Why, why it is the equation 3.73? This one. If you put this value, then you'll get the transfer function. Okay, then you will get the transfer function. So first of all, you have to find out the S, SI minus A, this one. Okay, now for this, now for this, uh, you will have to bring this adjoint matrix. Okay, to bring the adjoint matrix, you have to follow this one. So now look at, if you look at the adjoint matrix here, adjoint A, so first one, second column, third column, and finally, this. So I'm showing you the example, how to, the, how to solve this one. For this one, for this column, for this element, you uh, it would be multiplying. So it would be s square plus 3s uh, plus 3s uh, minus 2, that means it would be plus 2. Okay. For this, this column, this one would be cancelled out, minus 2. Something wrong here. It's 0. Oh, it would be transposed ultimately. Okay, for this one, uh, last two. Uh, because if you cancel this one, uh, plus one, sorry, not two. So it would be, uh, it would be what? It would be minus one, that means the plus one. And for this, uh, zero minus s, minus s. And for this, this one cancel out, this one cancel out, minus s plus three, Okay, uh, minus s minus three minus s minus three. Hmm. Okay, so it will be minus. Okay, and the third one, and this one, this one, this would be cancelled out, this would be cancelled out, zero, 
minus and plus one. Shift it to be minus one. And for these two uh, S plus one. Two S plus one. Two S two S plus one. Like this, okay. Like this, you have to calculate, then make it transpose. Okay, transpose. And uh, for this element, uh, for this element, it would be two, it would be two, it would be two. Sorry, for this element. Plus one, sorry, plus one. It should be one. It should be one. And for this one, uh, minuses, minuses. And for this one, for this one, this is bad. Transpose means this row become column, this row become column, this row become column. So finally, finally what would become this row, this column would become row. Mm, so it's a square. Plus, plus 3s plus 2. So first to become column minus 1 minus s. And this to become column s plus 3, 1, 2s plus 1. Okay, second one. This one is mistake. This one. This one means this. That is means this one. If you take this one, if you take this one, this would be cancelled out. This one, this would be cancelled out. So, so s square plus three s minus. Oh, okay, okay. So I did a mistake here. So it would it would be s into s plus three and here uh, for this one zero if you take this To be minus if you take the common so like this way actually okay so s plus three uh, s into s into s plus three and here to s plus one like that like this way so blah, blah, blah. So like this, so you get designed for the determinant. Uh, you follow that uh, equation. For the determinant, you have to take this. 
individual recalculation is required. So like this way, you can uh, solve this. So finally, you put these values here, then you get the, uh, so that is the, your problem which I have given to you. Okay. So you try this one at your home. So that is the end of chapter three. Okay. Okay, can you try this one? Can you try this one? Try this one. Okay, try this one. Try this one. Monir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is the value of A here? That is A. That is B. That is C. First of all, bring out, uh, put, take this one, SI minus A. Then you have to take the inverse. Okay, what is the formula? Uh, adjoint SI minus A, then determinant SI. Okay. So that is the formula you have to put. And finally, you uh, bring those DS. So first of all, find out the SI minus A. Show me.
SI minus the inverse. So do you know what is the identity matrix of this one? For this one, identity matrix, one, zero, right, clearly, one, zero, zero, one. So SI minus A, so SI, S I would be uh, uh, S zero zero S. Okay. And A is here is given. So S I minus a would be what so s i so that means s minus minus 4 that means s plus 4 s plus 4 s plus 4 0 minus minus 1.5 that means 1.5 1 1.5 and zero minus four, that means minus four. Okay. 
uh, I have a phone. Okay, so minus four and here is minus zero, that means it would be S. So that is uh, your uh, S minus A, S minus A. So to take this inverse, so you have to calculate the adjoint as well as the determinant. Okay, so that is your task. So you solve, try to solve this one and uh, you have to bring this one. I may give you it as your class performance also. Okay. So you have to find out the SI minus A inverse. Okay, so that is, uh, that's all for today. Uh, I will upload this one, this site, so that you can solve. Okay, sir.